many different gel liners are available today. And the gel liner is the interface that interacts with your skin. So it's a critical part of your prosthesis, finding a gel liner that's comfortable and that your skin tolerates. Today, the most common gel liners are of three different materials. So they're either a silicone gel, a thermoplastic elastomer gel, or a urethane gel. And each of them have different strengths and weaknesses. Uh, and the other important thing about gel liners is to know there's generally two, uh, two types. One is the pin type, so a liner that has a threaded area for a pin to be placed so that you can use a pin locking style prosthesis. This is an example of that. The other is referred to as a cushion liner. So the cushion liner has no pin and is used with suction or vacuum style prostheses. Liners that are used for suction or vacuum are typically not covered with fabric so that you can maintain a seal with the sleeve. And this is a good example of that. It's a very good silicone gel liner uh, without a fabric so that you can get suction. There are some other types that have come out that are half fabric and half gel uh, so that you can maintain suction but have some of the benefits of fabric. The fabric here allows it to slide into the prosthesis without a sock if you are in a zero ply sock fit. Uh, it also makes it slightly easier to roll the liner on to your leg. These are some unique uh, designs that have come out and these seals form an airtight seal with the prosthetic socket. So if you're using a uh, suction style prosthesis, you can use this and get rid of the get rid of the suspension sleeve that covers the knee. So they're not they're not for everybody. You have to have a long enough limb. The limb has to be cylindrical. But for those it does work with, uh, it can work very well. This one is more commonly used with a, a below the knee amputees. This style here is, is designed specifically for above the knee amputees. And you will get airtight, uh, airtight socket from this seal down. So those are some neat designs that are out. The silicone gels are, are more often used with locking mechanisms. The silicone gel seems to be a little bit more durable than the, than the uh, urethane and thermoplastic elastomer type gel. So there is a little more pressure in a pin type style because there is inherent small amount of inherent pistoning or movement up and down basically while you're walking. So the silicone gels seem to tolerate that better um, and, and last a little longer in that regard. The silicone gels though don't, uh, for example, if you're going to do a vacuum socket, urethane is the most common material used because it flows under vacuum, meaning that it will move around the bony prominences. And only the urethane, or the urethane gel does that best typically. There are some new silicone designs, uh, this happens to be one of them that can flow as well, but many, many people in the field still feel the urethane is the best. So. Those are some of the differences between the, the silicone and the elastomer. So the, the, the elastomer gels like this, for example, does better with suction where there's less pistoning so the liner doesn't wear out as quickly. And those are uh, some of the main features and these are some of the basic uh, liners that are available today. And getting the right liner is a critical part of being comfortable in your prosthesis.